We're in Rio Dulce, Guatemala. Um, we're going to Finca del Paraíso today, which is waterfalls that um, spill hot water into cold water. Rio Dulce resides in eastern Guatemala, close to the borders of Belize and Honduras. The town is easily identifiable by a long bridge that spans across the Rio Dulce, or Sweet River. It's a very popular stopover point for people sailing to the Caribbean. It's very common for tourists to take the scenic boat tours between the town of Rio Dulce and Livingston. As Araceli and I walked into town, we were shocked to find the heavily trafficked highway comes to a dead halt in the center of town. Tour buses and semi-trucks struggle to drive through. When traveling to the hot spring waterfall, avoid expensive taxis and instead take a local shuttle bus for a fraction of the cost. An hour later, we were dropped off on the side of a dirt road in the middle of nowhere. However, billboard signs reading Finca El Paraíso pleasantly greeted us. We followed a trail along a river to the waterfall where locals were picnicking. After taking a dip in the cool river water below the hot waterfall, we eagerly hiked up to the top in search of the hot springs. We just arrived at a crossroads. We could go this way, straight, or right. So we're backtracking a little bit. Um, there's no one up here. I mean, you hear the waterfall, so it's not, you know, you're not too far away. Do you think all that water comes from there? I don't know. I mean, there's obviously stuff back there, but I do see bubbles in here. Tiny bubbles, but maybe that's a spring. There's no more river. Okay, this is the bubbles then. There's no more river, so. But where's the water coming from? Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow, I want to see your face when you step in this burning. You like hot water, right? Yeah. Let's see how hot you like it. I'm scared. Come on. That's not bad. That's not bad. It's a lot hotter than what it was near the waterfall. It's a little bad. Ow. <laughs> now you feel it? Ow. It's pretty hot. It is pretty hot. Makes me want to pee. Okay, then I'll shut the camera off. No, I'm not gonna. So we're at the source of the springs that feed the waterfall, and it's it's hot. But it's not very impressive source. It's not very impressive source. It kind of just starts as a little river, little tiny creek, as I would say. But it pushes out a lot of water. Yeah, I think it's just coming up from the ground all around us. But it's hot. Look at the thorns on this thing. To give you an idea, I'll put my hand out. I'll put my hand next to it. After searching for the source of the springs, we walked in the very hot stream back to the top of the waterfall. We found a safe spot to rest in the hot springs overlooking the falls. After working up a good sweat, we returned to the bottom pool to cool off. We packed up our things and walked back to the road to catch our ride. So hopefully it's about 5 p.m. Hopefully our a little mini bus will come running down the road and we can hop in it. We'll see. Hmm. No bus? No bus. He's got 10 minutes. That doesn't look like our bus. Nope. Not our bus. Our shuttle did finally arrive just before the rain. On our walk out of the forest, we met some local children selling snacks. We snapped a photo and waved goodbye. Her silly thinks she's getting eaten alive. I have a lot of uh... She's got malaria. We already figured it out. Look. Ooh, looks like the chicken pox. Nice. That's pretty bad. I hope I don't die. Well, you're not, you couldn't do it a better way, right? I mean, if you're going to die, rather traveling? Di yeah, <laughs> than in a car accident in America. 